The Lord of the Rings, The Fellowship of the Ring is directed by Peter Jackson. It stars Elijah Wood, Sean Astin, Big Yo Mortensen, and many more to name. It is about Frodo, who is a hobbit who lives in the Shire, and him and many other people have to go to Mount Doom to destroy the ring of power that was formed in Mount Doom, all right? He, him and the Fellowship of the Ring have band together to make a pact to destroy the ring. This movie came out in 2001. I wasn't alive back then, but this movie was huge. This movie made tons of money. It put Peter Jackson on the map. Uh, before this movie came out, Peter Jackson wasn't a big name in Hollywood. He was kind of known for his uh, earlier f horror films from like the early 90s and late 80s. He did films like Dead Alive and a couple other movies that are, are pretty niche. I've, I've not seen his older stuff, but um, I am a fan of Lord of the Rings, as, as you can tell. I had not seen the Lord of the Rings for quite some time. Uh, this is my DVD release that I owned when I was younger. Um... I had not seen it for many years. Uh, I had not seen it. The first time I watched these movies, I was probably in fourth and fifth grade, and I was a pretty young lad when I watched them. I watched the theatrical versions when I was younger, and now I watched the extended editions on 4K UHD news scans. I watched the extended edition for the first time, and man, oh man, was it a joy to watch them in 4K, because man, this is a great movie. I mean... The cast is just excellent. You have Elijah Wood, who would later go on to be in Sin City, which is another great movie. Elijah Wood is so good in this movie. And they got Sean Astin, who was in The Goonies. He was in Stranger Things. Uh, he, he is so good in this movie. Figio Mortensen as Aragorn, who is awesome. You know, he's like chopping down people. Love him in this movie. He wasn't a big actor at the time. He was doing like rom-coms and like... You know, now he's doing David Cronenberg stuff, but he, he this kind of put him on the map as well. Of course, you have Orlando Bloom who played Legolas, who was awesome. You know, um, you know this was before the Pirates of the Caribbean, so this is before he was a big actor as well. He is so cool in this movie. I, I just he's the whole cast is awesome. You have Sean Bean, who will later go on to be in Game of Thrones. He is awesome in this movie. Of course, Peter Jackson's direction is, you know, just. He, he understands the scale. He understands kind of the world building. He knocked it out of the park with this movie. This is an excellent movie when it comes to scale and storytelling. There is so much going on. The extended edition, I, I liked way more than the theatrical. It just, it gives so much more context and it gives much more of a grand scheme of the story. It, it really, really nails home what kind of a, a movie this is. This is a masterpiece of the fantasy genre right here. This is alongside The Princess Bride and many others that I could name all day. Um, let's see here. Now, now I do have some flaws with the movie. I mean, it's it's the extended edition is a whopping 228 minutes, which is almost four hours long. So, you know, it kind of starts to lose you a little bit you know, in the two thirds part of the movie. it But that's kind of a given just because the movie is almost four hours long. And this came out in 2001. So obviously the the CGI and the, the effects were not like up to date. You know, this is the same year that The Mummy Returns came out. So that's kind of the, kind of the time frame of when this came out. And, you know, the effects aren't, you know, they're, they're still great. You know, they're still like, you know, very good for its time. It's not as perfect as it was nowadays. You know, you know, with CGI nowadays, you know, it's it's pretty much lifelike nowadays. You know, it it's such a excellent movie. I mean, there's so much to talk about. There are so many iconic scenes. I own the Lego Minds of Moria Lego set. I mean, come on. You know, that Minds of Moria scene is just it, it the whole movie is it it except for maybe when it and later in the movie, it really like grabs onto you and you're, you're really, really intrigued for the entire runtime. It's, it's awesome. It's epic. It's the score is just, it's so iconic. You know, you, you can probably hear it right now in your ears. Uh, if I were to rate this movie, I would give it a nine out of 10. I think a letter got to give it an A. It is an exceptional movie except for a couple of minor flaws 
It is a great movie. If you have not seen it, what are you doing? The Rings of Power comes out this weekend. I am very excited. Uh, I'm going to be re reviewing the rest of the Lord of the Rings movies and the Hobbit movies, so keep your eyes peeled. Thank you all so much for watching. I love you all, and enjoy the rest of your day.